Welcome to Bible Knowledge Workshop, episode number four. We've been trying to put to memory certain biblical facts, as well as to see where they fit chronologically in the biblical timeline. We've been looking at the 17 time periods of the Bible. In our previous episodes, we've put to memory some memory questions from the first period of before the flood and of the second period of the flood. In today's episode, we want to look at the third of our 17 time periods, and that's the scattering of the people. As you might imagine, this being a short time period, we don't have much memory work today. We just have two quiz questions that we want to put to memory, and then we'll do some reviewing of some of the facts that we've learned before. Our first memory question is, after the flood, The people wanted to build a city and a tower whose top was to reach unto heaven. What was the name of the city and the tower? Babel. Our second question, what did God do to stop them? He confused their language and scattered them over the face of the earth. Those are our quiz questions of this third Bible time period of the scattering of the people. Now I want us to review a couple of the lists that we've put to memory. Are you able to say the books of the Old Testament from memory? Let's say them together. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. The other list we've tried to put to memory are the 17 Bible time periods. This may be new to you, and so we want to challenge you to put to memory the chronological listing of the time periods of the Bible. Period number one is before the flood. The second period is the flood. Period number three is the scattering of the people. The fourth period, the patriarchs. Period number five, exodus from Egypt. The sixth period is the wandering in the wilderness. Period number seven is the invasion and conquest of Canaan. The eighth period Judges. Period number nine, United Kingdom, followed by the tenth period, the Divided Kingdom. And then period number eleven is Judah alone. The twelfth period is the captivity, followed by the thirteenth period, the return from captivity. Period number fourteen is the year of silence. Then we begin in the New Testament of period number 15, the life of Christ, 
the 16th period, the early church, and period number 17, the letters to the Christians. It may take some time, but put the 17 time periods to memory. Now, it will be our intention to meet together like this in our Bible Knowledge Workshop Monday through Friday. So that gives you the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, to review the questions and to make sure that you've put them to memory. I want to remind you again that you can go to our website at bumby.org and if you'll click on the Resources tab and then choose Study Materials, that that'll bring you to three types of study materials. You can view or even download and print the Old Testament questions as well as a set of the questions with the answers and an Old Testament timeline. So I encourage you to download these and maybe even print them and study them as a family and over the weekend when we're not together, review those questions through that third time period. Make sure that you and the members of your family have put to memory the quiz questions of before the flood, the flood, and the scattering of the people. And we'll look forward to being together again in our next episode of the Bible Knowledge Workshop.